as a kid, I was homeschooled, and my mom made theater a big part of uh, our, our education. Stories were part of my personality. Like, I very much was was all about stories, and um, I I was in plays. I tried to write plays as adaptations of stories that I had read. I think the, the first script that I tried to adapt was an adaptation of a Ghost Cat. And when I was about 10, then I discovered that you could take a video camera and you could record these plays and you could play them over and over and you didn't have to do it every time. The stories that I really liked are the ones that are set in, you know, kind of an adjacent reality. And so that's the kind of stories that I really like telling. The really unique thing about the Champagne film community is how excited everybody is to work with each other. Film is an extremely collaborative art and so having a group of people who are willing to come together and work on one project is a huge boon to getting stuff done. Back in the day, you have movies playing back on, on film, uh, 24 frames per second. And stop motion is instead of having a moving subject that you're recording 24 frames a second, uh, you take those frames individually. So you pose the character, you take a picture of it, you pose them again, repeat until your eyes bleed, and then when you play them back at 24 frames per second, then it looks like it was recorded with the moving subject. That sort of creation is a lot of fun. I, not only have I made movies for you know most of my life, but my actual training is in engineering, and so uh, that sort of problem solving is just right for my brain. It's, it's, it's what my brain likes doing. Fluffy Stein was my pencil and short last year. It was written by three local sixth grade girls. Uh, and it is the most adorable thing ever. It's about a, uh, a little girl named Maisie who her best friend is uh, named Mr. Fluffy Ears. He's a stuffed rabbit. And then he is kidnapped by her evil genius little brother and brought to life in a Frankenstein-like experiment. The favorite puppet that I've worked with is uh, Mr. Fluffy Ears from, from Fluffy Stein. Every time I animate that puppet, then I find some excuse for him to like whip his head around and the whole you know, figuring out how the ears are going to move and flow. And there's a whole lot of physics behind that. And uh, it's just fun to be able to bring everything that I've studied together to, you know, get really fun stuff done. My name is Thomas Niggle. I am a director and animator, and I live in Champaign.